Shahab, many thanks indeed. Al Jazeera Shahab Ratanzi there on uh, Capitol Hill. Many thanks indeed. Uh, Frank Leon Roberts is a Black Lives Matter movement organizer and activist. He joins us now live uh, from New York via Skype. Good to have you with us, uh, sir. Uh, what do you make of the fact Pleasure that uh, uh, this bill, with all of its measures, is going to pass the House, uh, but it won't become law because it's not going to go anywhere in the Senate? Yeah, well, I think the first thing to say is congratulations. Uh, the reality is this is a small victory for movement activists. As you mentioned, it's been 30 days since the lynching of George Floyd. And this legislation, if passed, which is unlikely, would be the most comprehensive piece of legislation on police reform in American history. That is an achievement that we can't sweep under the rug. Uh, and I think it's important to note that this is only happening as a result of 30 days of sustained protests by young people and people of all walks of life across America. And so for that reason, we have reason to uh, be proud that we've reached this moment. To what extent is it important also, this being an election year, that the Democrats are, uh, seem to be fully on board with this now? Absolutely. Thank you for, uh, for asking that, because it's really important to understand, though this piece of legislation is likely to fail in the Senate as a result of no Republican support, it's very important to understand that four years ago, many of the names that have signed on to support this bill would have been very unlikely to have even supported a piece of legislation like this four years ago. So it, it represents a shift not only in the country, but in the Democratic Party. The fact that you have mainstream Democrats calling for essentially an end to qualified immunity, uh, a ban on no-knock warrants, a ban on chokeholds, is progress for the Democratic Party, let alone America at large. And so I think it sets up a very important um, election year dynamic where whoever, well, we know that Joe Biden will be the Democratic nominee, but whoever the vice presidential nominee is and ultimately the, the Democratic platform more broadly will have to actually adopt the principles that we see in this piece of legislation. And that's important for moving forward. All right. Uh, however long it takes for any of these measures to become law in the United States, is it actually going to make any difference on the ground when it comes to day-to-day -day policing? Well, great question. And, and, and the answer is, it depends, and to a certain extent. So, for instance, a ban on no-knock warrants would have, for instance, saved the life of Breonna Taylor, the 27-year-old uh, African-American uh, frontline worker in Kentucky who was killed as a result of a no-knock warrant. Uh, the ban on chokeholds uh, theoretically would have prevented the death of, for instance, Eric Garner, but the reality is chokeholds were already banned in New York at the time that uh, Garner was executed. But the most important part of this legislation, whenever it actually uh, sees the light of day as law, is the end to qualified immunity, which um, essentially would no longer shield police officers from actually uh, having financial liability and criminal liability for um, taking away people's constitutional rights. And so in that sense, it would make a real difference. The question is when, as you've, as you've implied, when it will actually come into law. But the fact that, that qualified immunity is, is being discussed now after, after so long, I mean, what, in the, in the space of 30 days that, that's come to the, the, the fore in, in the debate about that? I mean, that, then that's, that's testament to the power of protest, isn't it? Adrian, it, 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 they cannot be understated. Qualified immunity was introduced by the Supreme Court in 1967. So what does that mean? 53 years qualified immunity has been the legal doctrine of the land and has been untouched. The fact that in 30 days we've done more on criminal justice reform than essentially what we've done in, uh, in, in 53 years is significant because qualified immunity was one of these principles that only kind of movement organizers like me knew. Uh, but the fact that it's even been entered into the public lexicon is, again, a testimony to the power of these protests, which have helped to not only shift policy, but shift the conversation. So now everyday Americans are familiar with this obscure legal concept called qualified immunity. That's progress. Really good to talk to you, sir. Many thanks indeed. Frank Leon Roberts there in New York. Pleasure. Thank you. As we were discussing.